Alright guys, welcome back to Dragon's Prophet. Today we're going to show you some ticks, some tricks and tips. Okay, so first off, the thing you're going to need is to have somebody mail you money. 600, will do. Or of course you can just try to earn this money. Just a little bit faster if somebody sends it to you. Second, you gotta catch one of these. Sadly, it's not my computer that's lagging out, it's the game server. As you can see, I barely even attempted to do that one and still was able to catch it. These yellow ones right outside the door are relatively easy. They're a quick flyer, so get you out of the area. <coughs> so basically the tip I'm going to share with you is easy leveling. Uh, it's the quickest way to get up to level 20. Uh, you will need a couple things to make this work. Because there's a reason for leveling characters to level 20 and not a little bit above. But you would have to have a house and a marketplace item to make this work. But pretty much what you do is you level up your guys, these dummy alts, and you get items as you level up and you just put those inside a box inside your house and then take them out with the character that you want. If you're going to a house, you need the 600 to get to the house from that guy there that you just saw me stop at. This area here is where they have the egg circle. It's kind of the epicenter for everything. Alright, now my favorite place to go mining and leveling up is B12, if there's nobody there. So what you're mining for is Napolite. It comes in a few different forms. You got powder, you've got ore, you've got residue. Things like that. Uh, it's a very important part of crafting, which will be my later video today, stopping on, touching on crafting. Duly noted that if you land in this area to mine Napolite, which are these little things right here, if you mine these, you are in a player versus player zone, and anybody can attack you at any time. Now pay close attention to that experience bar when I get done hitting these. six already back on it a few more times now this character was straight out of the starter demo tells you how to play the game and everything as soon as I got out I had another character mail me some money so that I could get here which in reality I didn't need because I didn't go to the house first but you go to the house first for the location button to teleport you there it makes it easier to get out here to the mines if you just teleport to the house first and then go through so I'll just show you how quickly you can gain some levels out here Okay, now that we're level 8, I should be able to open it. This right here. 
as you progress, it gives you... Oh, well, apparently it was nine. But these are the items that you would want to transfer into another character. Show you how you would do that real quick. I don't have any of my teleports or anything open because I just started this character. So bear with me as we fly to destination to destination. Okay, so the ground portal will take you back to where the egg circle is, which is kind of the main hub in this game. Everybody seems to come and go from that particular location where the egg circle is. I believe it's pronounced Artesia. Don't quote me on that, I ain't good at pronouncing words. So if you fly into one of these, I think they look like an eyeball, but an eyeball portal, and you can go to different lands out here, which you can buy a house or an apartment in. I currently live up here. So buying a house and building a house or an apartment is something that we'll touch on in another episode. I just wanted to quickly show you guys how you would do it. Those two items that I just got from leveling up real quick. I do know that they at least go up to level 30. I don't know if the boxes go on farther than that. Because I haven't played it on from 30 in a while. So this is my apartment. Those are my eggs. Yeah, during the beginning of the game, they're going to spam you with all that crap. Let me dance for them real quick. Dancing for them gives them care. We'll cover that in an egg tutorial. Once they jump, you're free to go. Now, what you're going to need is one of those little box that I got on my ceiling I just think it's cooler to access it this way but it's a glory storage chest from of course the marketplace and what you do is you just drag and drop these over here now if I wanted to I could delete this character but since you get more items the higher level they go I'll probably play them out till close to 30 dropping all his marketplace stuff in the box and taking it for another character who needs it. Now the most important thing you get is actually with the brand new character and that's the potion. Right there. 20% experience increase for 24 hours. Now when you get to end game from like 90 on, the grind gets unreasonably long. You'll be grinding levels until you're blue in the face. But, yeah, so to recap, quick leveling at the mines. All you had to do was get a flyer to get there. You saw how I did it. You can level there quickly and get up to 20. Once you get close to 20 and past 20, it's still better to level there than it is to go out and fight things because you level faster in the mine. Uh, also, if you know how to play an au auction house game, they sell for quite some money. Um, just what I got alone only sells for a thousand here, you know, and a few thousand there. But if you put those in the auction house, they're going to sell for a hell of a lot more. Especially Napolite uh, or you can get about 30,000 a piece for that. 
So that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Slack a thumbs up if you did. We'll have some more Dragon's Prophet coming here shortly.